Okay, let's see how this goes. So I'm just using a thirsty brush here. So I, I just wet it in the water, squeeze it dry, and it acts sort of like a sponge and lifts the paint right out. Now, you'd one of the advantages of doing it this way top of the ladders comes up there now the the only thing when you lift out like this one time will not do it so you kind of do it take your best shot the paint will run back a little bit and then you have to go in and do it again. I want to go in and uh, add some more value contrast here. Where there are darks on the face I need to emphasize them even more. And so there's this bottom of the nose. No, that can't have bright red. need to do something with these lips so I'm going to darken the top lip and right in the corner she has very pronounced dimples. So I want to get quite a dark mixture and just pop that in right there and also there. Now the bottom lip also is considerably darker. Yeah. And then there's also Just pure water here to soften that. And this one.
going to pump up this Just some shadows that I notice around the eyes, south of nose. Then I want a bit of this to define the top of the nose. There's that highlight area, which is actually a bit high, so we're going to lose some of that. Also, I want to darken the eye now that I have a good look at it. It's, it's too light. Darken the iris. I want to take the, uh, to define the lips even more, I'm going to take a dark, because the darkest part of the lips is that the crack. And then in our, off, the process often is when you, you do something and then you have to respond to it by uh, doing other things because of that stroke you made. So as I now darken those eyes, I think I need to do more with the eyebrows. I can leave that for now and there's quite a dark shadow right in here. Just darken it particularly there while it's still wet and let that flow out so it'll give me a gradual, hopefully a nice gradual transition. Okay. And some of these shapes here. I'll show you what I what I meant there. So I've got a, a hard edge shape there. But I want it to gradually transition to the lighter value. So I'm adding just pure water. Yeah, so I still get a dark part there, but it becomes very attractive and very lifelike. We'll do the same there, but putting some a dark value and just pure water. There's one here. Put it there. Just take water, not too wet.
I, I want to keep that effect, not have it as pronounced at the top, but keep it more for the bottom. Because I don't want to draw the eye too much up there to the top of the head. So I'll come down here. There's lots of opportunity to use it down here. dark shadow up there. Just water here. darken that more. Some water there and then I'm going to use the same color a little more to the red side to create this shadow in here Through flat. Yeah. And I want to emphasize this up here. So that'll give me a real hard edge up there. And so the, the top of the rung is going to be light against the dark background. The, bo the bottom of the rung is going to be dark against a lighter background. So I'll just mix up a darker mixture. I'm going to soften that.
At this point, I had a very unhappy accident. I spilt a large, thick blob of dioxazine purple on the hair at the right. It instantly stained the paper and it required uh, some drastic action. So I scrubbed, the, scrubbed that section with a toothbrush, which got rid of a lot of it. I then had to use sandpaper to liter literally remove the surface of the paper, and I got rid of most of it. Unfortunately, I destroyed the painting in that area, so I've had to repaint it. It also forced me to make some other changes to try and decrease the importance of that most unhappy accident. This is now stands out as being too dark so if we balance it with some darks over here particularly this one that outlines the face that'll bring some of the attention back that way that in there and this one here could also be darker I think I'm going to stop take a look at it and then I think I'm going to call this good. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something and uh, we will see you next time.